Match Maker Mysteries. It's the brand new Signature Mysteries that was a huge hit for movie, or I'm sorry, Hallmark Channel Movies and Mysteries, starring Danica McKellar. Danica McKellar is one of the Hallmark darlings. She's in a few movies a year, just like Lacey Chabert, Aaron Krako, and Candace Cameron Bure. They love her, so they gave her her own mystery series. This is all about... Oh, oh, by the way, this is the Matchmaker Mysteries Episode 1, because th they treat these as episodes. So, this is a killer engagement. Danica McKellar plays Angie Dove, who runs this matchmaker show, kind of like, say, The Bachelor. Bachelor-ish. You go on many dates with this person and blah, blah, blah. One of the couples that she... Uh, put together is now engaged and there's a, an engagement party but the bride-to-be gets murdered and now she is trying to help out the police just like everybody else does she's trying to uh, figure out what happened while also trying to keep her show going with a bit of a dorky guy who comes on the show and he just won't stop talking and talking and talking about crap that nobody even remotely wants to talk about. This film was really charming. That's what I'm looking for in a Hallmark film. If it charms me to death, that is amazing to me. You need to have the right actors on set portraying the roles greatly, mind you. And I like that this one started a little bit of a romance and did not go for the romantic mystery-esque type of a uh, path. But I think they're going to go towards that path in the next couple movies. The mystery was a lot of fun to try and solve. I kind of saw it coming once uh, we we got to the 45 or the last 45 minutes. I'm like, okay, I think I know who did it. I don't know why they did it. And that's where it got me. Why did they do it? Boom. These movies are meant for you to be watching a very clean version of, say, Chicago PD, Law and Order SVU, uh, and oh, there we go, NCIS. It's a very clean version. It's a TVG, sometimes TV, very light, very light TVPG, Hallmark film. That's about them solving a murder, and you're having fun trying to figure out what was the motive, who was the person that did it, and yeah, there's your plot, I enjoy the film for what it was, it's not a perfect film by any means, but with this film, I'm, I'm looking at the mystery and I'm looking at the actors, that's how I, I review the Hallmark movies and mysteries, well, Hallmark mysteries, it should be called, Hallmark signature mysteries movies. Danica McKellar is a Hallmark darling for a reason. She's really, really good. If you don't know who Danica McKellar is, you've seen her if you watched uh, ABC in the 90s. You saw her as Winnie Cooper in uh, The Wonder Years. And you've seen her in a few Hallmark films, but if you haven't, I'm going to definitely recommend you check her out in whatever she does. She doesn't do the best films, but that's due to the screenplay. She's always good in them, no matter what. There's only one or two films that I think... Uh, well, two or three films of hers that I thought were kind of just meh, not all that good. But I really enjoyed the Matchmaker Mysteries. I hope they keep on going with them. And I think that we could be seeing a full month worth... A full month's worth... Just like we do of Aurora Tea Garden... Haley Dean Mysteries, we're going to be getting, uh, we had that with Chronicle Mysteries, a ton of other stuff. I'm going to give Matchmaker Mysteries a killer engagement, an A-. minus. There were no bad ADRing moments at all. I, I didn't even pay attention because I was having fun trying to figure out why they did it and who did it. And that's what these movies are for. See you guys in the next review.